Hello everyone. Good day to you. This is Dr. Ailen Brisha, Assistant Professor of English, Holy Cross College, Trichirapalli. Today I am going to do today I am going to do a comprehensive analysis of Thomas Kitt's The Spanish Tragedy. The objectives of this presentation are the learner will be able to comprehend the plot, characters, themes, settings and symbols. Understand the revenge motive apply the characteristics of cynic and tragedy and understand the social and political background coming to the introduction the spanish tragedy or hieronimo is mad again is an elizabethan play written by thomas kitt between 1582 and 1592 the play establishes a new genre in the elizabethan theater called the revenge tragedy or the revenge play this was highly influenced by seneca a roman dramatist generally the subject of a seneca tragedy involves brutal murder and the quest for vengeance this also includes ghost suicide play within a play gruesome bloody endings and sensational incidents now let us move on to the characteristics of seneca tragedy brutal murder is one of the important element of seneca tragedy the presence of supernatural objects is a common thing the quest for revenge and suicide are the very important aspects of a seneca tragedy and a technique called a play within a play is usually applied to the seneca tragedy the main characters of the play are hieronimo the magistrate of spain and father of horatio bel imperia the daughter of duke of castile and sister to lorenzo lorenzo the son of duke of castile a machiavellian and a brother to bel imperia balthasar is the son of the viceroy of portugal and a suitor to bel imperia horatio is the son of hieronimo and a spanish warrior the key characters are the key characters of this play the spanish tragedy are hieronimo the father of murdered horatio who is awaiting a justice for his murdered son the machiavellian lorenzo a cold blooded murderer of andrea and horatio balthasar lorenzo's companion in all his crimes and a suitor to bel imperia now we have come to the integral part of this presentation the discussion of the plot the play opens by reporting the death of andrea a spanish warrior in a war between spain and portugal the ghost of andrea and the spirit of revenge a personified abstraction emerges from the underworld to witness the death of the murderers of andrea that is lorenzo and balthasar Lorenzo murdered Andrea knowing his love affair with his sister Bel Imperia. Bel Imperia later falls in love with Horatio, Andrea's close friend, to take revenge on Andrea's death and with the help of Horatio. Unfortunately, this relationship was discovered by Lorenzo and he kills Horatio. Hieronimo Horatio's father is waiting to see the murderers of his son being a magistrate himself he seeks justice in the court of Spain when justice was delayed and denied he along with Bel Imperia the niece of the king of Spain join hands to take revenge on the murderers of his son Bel Imperia is very Bel Imperia is waiting for this who wants to avenge the death of both Andrea and innocent Horatio both Hor Hieronimo and Bel Imperia plans for a performance in which the viceroy of the portuguese both bel imperia and hieronimo plan a performance in which the viceroy of the portugal attends and who comes to spain to commence the wedding preparation for his son with bel imperia during the play hieronimo and bel imperia murders lorenzo balthasar and duke of castile and finally kill themselves now let us discuss the motives in the play madness madness becomes manifested in two main characters hieronimo and isabella the parents of horatio when justice was denied for the death of his son the madness in hieronimo takes the form of revenge this revenge was an outward destruction to him and the surrounding people whereas for isabella it takes an inward form where she commits suicide to escape the horrible reality machiavellianism 
Machiavellianism is a term that is synonymous with being sly, deceptive, untrusting, and Machiavellianism is a word that is synonymous with being sly, deceptive, distrusting, and manipulative. The Elizabethan audience find Machiavellianic traits in the character Lorenzo. Even during the end of the play, Hieronimo takes or he adopts the Machiavellian traits or tactics to murder the murderers of his son. Now let us see the themes embedded in the play, revenge and justice. Revenge and justice are sought by two characters in the play, Hieronimo and Bel Imperia, for the death one for the death of Horatio and the other for the death of both Andrea and Horatio. Love and Death Bel Imperia's love for Andrea is discovered by Lorenzo, who murders Andrea. Horatio's love for Bel Imperia leads to the death of Horatio by Lorenzo. Both love and revenge are intertwined in the play The Spanish Tragedy. Appearance and Reality Pedriango, the servant of Bel Imperia, appears to be innocent in front of her, but he is actually a crime associate with Lorenzo, who is involved in the murder of Horatio. Lorenzo plays innocent throughout the play, but actually he is a Machiavellian. Balthasar camouflages himself as a gentleman in the court of Spain, but actually a crime associate of Lorenzo and a criminal by himself. The main and only symbol that is used in the play is a bloody handkerchief. Initially, this handkerchief was given to Andrea by Bel Imperia before he goes to the war between Spain and Portugal. Horatio finds this handkerchief near the dead body of his friend Andrea and he takes the kerchief as a symbol of friendship. When Horatio was later killed by Lorenzo, this kerchief was found near the body of Horatio, blood soaked by his father Hieronimo. He takes and keeps the kerchief as a remembrance of his beloved son and finally the handkerchief takes the form of revenge. Coming to the conclusion, as discussed earlier, we've seen the play is richly embedded with the traits of Senecan elements, tragic elements. We also discussed on the plot development, motives, themes and symbols. These are the frequently asked questions regarding the play and these are the references used for this presentation. Thank you.